Hello everyone, welcome to yoga today. We're gonna to do a nice yoga flow just to open up our whole body. So let's get started. We're gonna to start today at the back end of our mat. We have mat space in front of us. We're gonna stand with our feet, just about hip width apart, shoulders roll back and chest open. We're gonna take a big sweep up with the arms, breathe in, and then exhale, hinge from our hips and just take a big forward fold over the legs. As we're folding here, let's just let our head hang heavy. Just shake your head though. Shake your head, yes. And then let's begin to clasp our elbows and just begin to sway that upper body side to side. From wherever you're at, just sway. Let that upper body just hang from the tailbone all the way down to the top of the head. Just let everything sway and release. Breathe in. motion die down and let's place our left hand on the mat you can bend the knees if you like or keep your legs straight and we're just going to raise the right arm so if you feel like it's a little hard to reach the floor feel free to bend those knees you can reach the floor and really twist we're really thinking about waking up our upper body here breathe in and then exhale switching sides take the opposite hand down and let's again twist reach up breathe in waking up that upper body nice big twist here you want to bend one knee or pull or straighten the legs. And then let's just come back center. Let's walk our hands out into our downward dog. So we're just going to really be starting here by waking up the legs, walking the feet out, treading through the heels, bending one knee and then the other. Great job. We're going to do a little bit of wake up through our core here. So we're going to send our hips back, breathe in. And then exhale, just ripple through our spine, shifting our weight until our shoulders are over the wrists. And then we're going to send those hips back again. We're going to do this about three times just to really start to wake up the core. Breathe in. Exhale, send those hips back. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale, send those hips back. One more time. Let's hold that nice plank position. And then we're just going to start to let our hips press forward, curling our spine up, letting our head drop back, pointing our toes behind us, opening the chest. Breathe in. And then exhale, let's round our spine, come up through a big cat stretch on the hands and knees, head and tailbone we'll tuck down. And then we'll release, head and tailbone up. Let's readjust, find those knees right under the hips, wrist right under the shoulders. Do that again. Head and tailbone down, big cat stretch. Release, head and tailbone up for cow. Let's do three more at our own pace. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, breathe in, arch through that back. Exhale, release. One more time. Here we go. Arching up. And release. Tucking our toes under. We're going to lift the knees and send those heels back again. Find that big downward dog position. Great job. Let's take our right leg up nice and high. Breathe in. And then exhale, just lower the legs. We're just doing a few raises and lowers. The idea here is to wake up the left hamstring a little bit deeper. So as the right leg raises, your left leg is getting a little more woken up. Let's do one more big reach up, and then let's circle that right leg. So let's try to circle with that right leg up and around. Wake up that hip. If doing a straight leg is a bit much, you can bend your knees here. And just create some nice hip circles. Let's take it the other way. Wherever you're at, circling up again. If you're taking the knee, you can open the knee and drop it down. So just take some circles. Take a one more big breath in. This time as you open that right leg, let's bend the knee if it's not already bent. Look under that right shoulder. Twist in the hips open a little bit. Now for those of you that want to flip, you can try reaching that foot behind you, opening up. If you're not quite ready to go into this yet, just keep that hip open in that scorpion position. And then when you're ready, we're going to come back and lunge that right heel outside of the right hand into lizard. So as you come into lizard, your back leg is extended. Your hands are inside of the right foot. And the right toes are pointing a little bit out to the right. We're going to let our heart shine forward, just open our chest, breathe in. And then as we exhale, if you'd like to walk your hands a little further forward or back to your elbows, or maybe even drop your upper body down a little lower, you're welcome to do so. Just really breathing into that outer hip. Take a moment here. Just deep breaths in and out. Beautiful here. Let's come back up to our hands. And now let's just circle our right arm up. Gaze back at that left foot. Maybe we stay here and, or maybe we pull that back foot in. So for those of you that are pulling back foot in, make sure you're feeling a nice stretch in the front of that left thigh rather than any tension. 
it in the knee. We're going to take one more breath in. And then exhale, release. Tuck those back toes under. Slide that right heel in a little bit closer to you. And we're going to circle the right arm up. Roll to the side of the left foot. So we're going to roll open here, raising the right hand. And then lower the left hip down. Breathe in. Exhale, press up through the left hip and reach the right arm overhead. Let's do this twice more. So breathe in, lower that hip down. Exhale, press up. And last one, breathe in. Exhale, let's press and hold. And then see if you'd like to take this into a side plank, stacking the feet possibly, or even dropping the left knee down. Circle that top arm for one, and two, and three, and let's reverse. Circle that arm again, one, and two, and three, very good. Now reach that arm overhead, let's come back into our plank. Let's try going to Chaturanga, Cobra, Upward Dog, and then round the spine to Child's Pose. Take a moment and breathe and relax. Maybe turn the palms open, you can flex through the hands here, and just reach through those fingertips. Feel that stretch from the lower back all the way through the shoulders, all the way through the wrist and out the fingertips. And then when we're ready, let's walk our hands a little over to the right. Now, I like to take the left hand and plant it down when I've reached as far as possible. And then we're gonna put the right hand on top and let our head just kind of rest over to the side. Resting on that left shoulder, just take a nice deep breath in. All right, let's see if we want to roll our hips up, come into a little bit of thread the needle by just letting the left side of the head and the left shoulder come down. Maybe raising the right arm or opening the chest or even reaching the right arm overhead. And some people also like to extend that right leg, tuck that toe. Just feel that long reach all the way through that right side of the body. Breathe in. And as we exhale, let's slide the right hand under the shoulder, push with that right arm and reach the left arm forward. If your right leg is not already extended back, extend it back and lift the leg. Let's do a little pulse up for eight, seven little pulses and working into the back side. Five, four, three, two, now come on, let's round the spine, draw it up onto me, and then reach out for one. And round the spine up onto me, reach out two, round the spine up onto me, reach out three. This is our last one. In, out for four, let's hold. Let's circle left arm back, reach around, bend that uh, right knee and see if you can find that foot or ankle. And pull open through the left side of your chest, finding this variation of king dance or kneeling. You may want to hold a little lower on the leg to extend the leg higher. Or you might want to keep the knee very bent and pull in and just feel the front of that hip stretch. Maybe you look back at that foot, breathe in. We're ready when that exhale release. Tuck the toes again, go back to downward dog. Catching the breath. Breathe in. Exhale, take one more breath in. Now exhale, let's raise up the left leg and lower it down. So just like we did on the other side, we're just raising the leg and lowering it down. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. And when we're feeling that right leg stretch deeper as the left leg goes higher. Once we're ready, take the left leg high and begin to create those circles all beneath the hip. So this can feel a little challenging to hold our balance with those arms. Remember, you can bend the knee if that feels better, just taking the circles with your knee. When you're ready, feel free to reverse those circles, again, with a straight leg or maybe with a bent knee. This is really just to wake up our hip. Once we feel ready, hold that leg nice and high, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knee. When you feel ready, Turn under the left arm. Maybe you just want to stay in Scorpion, or maybe you choose to flip this pose and gaze up. Reaching that left arm, breathe in. And when we're ready, exhale, left heel down, and bring your left heel outside of your left hand, lizard on the other side. So you're still going to have your left toes pointing a bit off to the left. Left heel is in front of the left knee. And you can have your hands forward or walk your elbows down or bring your body further down. But you want to feel this stretch in your left glute. Take some deep breaths. And you might even feel this in the front of the right hip. So for those of you that are really working on stretching out the front of that thigh, you can maybe hold yourself up a little bit higher. Shine your heart forward here. Take a few moments, breathe in. Exhale, take one more breath in. When we're ready, we're going to come back up to our hands, right hand down, left arm reaches up and circles back. We're gazing back at that right foot. Maybe we stay here, 
Are you ready? What a pull. That right heel in. You need to feel the front of that thigh stretching. Breathing in. Exhaling. Taking your time. Waking up the front of the body. Through the front of that hip. Taking one more big breath in. Now as we exhale, we release. We're going to adjust and slide our left heel closer in. So it's going to be more in line with your belly button. We're going to roll to the side of our right hip. Right wrist is under the right shoulder. Left arm is extending. And we're going to press up. Breathe in. Lift those hips and then exhale. Slowly come down. Breathe in again. Exhale. Lift. Wake up that left side of the body. Through that upper hip. Lower back. And again. Reaching up. And lower down. One more time. You're going to reach up and hold. And then see if maybe we can stack those feet. Find that variation of our side plank. Or maybe you can drop the right knee. Circle that left arm for one. And two. And three. Let's reverse. Circle that arm one. And two. And then on three, hold the arm up. Breathe in. And let's exhale. Find our full plank here. From our plank position, let's lower chaturanga. Curl up. Cobra or upward dog. And then tuck our toes under. Send our hips back. Downward dog. Take a moment. Just breathe in here. Take your time. Take a moment. Catch your breath. Very good job. From here, we're going to shift back up into our plank position. Lower down. Curl the chest up. Cobra or upward dog. And then sending those hips back again into child's pose. Take a moment. Maybe make some fists and then release the hand. Stretching out any tension. We may have found through the wrist here. And let's lift the hips up and send the hips over the knees and come into our puppy pose, opening the chest a bit deeper. Maybe we're gazing out over the fingertips, or maybe we want to bend the elbow and feel a nice little tricep heart. Wherever at, just take a moment, breathe in. Very good job. And then we're going to exhale, come all the way back up to our hands and knees. Arch the back, head into the bone down. Release the spine, head into the bone up. Find that flat back, and this time send left leg back. Right arm out in front of us. We're going to breathe in here. And we're going to go ahead and just take a few little pulses up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then on one, rounding the spine. Elbow to knee in and reaching out for one. And again, elbow to knee in, reaching out for two, elbow to knee in, reaching out for three, and one more time in, reach out for. Now reaching that hand back, bend that right knee, find that third ankle, and find that variation of King Dancer. Hand is either on the ankle or foot. We're opening the chest on the right side of the body, waking up our back. Remember, you can also keep the knee in a little closer to your glute to stretch the front of your thigh. Just finding where this feels good, moving and adjusting as needed to open the chest, the shoulder, and the front of that back thigh. Take one more big breath in, and then let's exhale. Really circle that right arm up. We're going to go into that thread the needle a little differently on this side. We're going to thread right arm under the left to let the side of our head come to the floor. So your right ear's down, we're pushing a little with the left hand. Maybe we want to stay here, maybe we extend that left leg this time. Just twisting, breathing and releasing here. Feeling some stretch through that lower back. Breathe in. Exhale one more time, we're going to lift that right arm out in front of us. Lift our left leg and just hold this nice strong balance, breathing in. Place the hand and knee down. Let's go back to the other side one more time. The right leg back, left arm front. Breathe in. Exhale, come back down. And let's set our hips back to child's pose. Now we're going to walk our hands over to the left. So walking our hands to the left, we're going to place our left hand on top of the right wrist and just let our head fall down onto that right arm. Breathe in here. Just waking up a little bit into that right head of the lower back. Beautiful job. Let's come back side. Take one more stretch here. Put the arms forward in child's pose. And then we're going to do a little snake through. We're going to slide our chest down. Curl our chest up. Find that over upward dog. Tuck our toes and go back to downward dog. Walk the feet out. Let's raise the right leg. Breathe in. Exhale. 
lunge the right foot to the top of the hand, head to the back heel. Take a warrior one, breathe in. Exhale, open to warrior two. Flipping the right palm, release it up and back. Find your peaceful warrior. Breathe in, and then exhale, take your right hand, either elbow to the thigh or hand to the floor. So if your elbow's on your thigh here, feel free to adjust a little bit because we are going to want to be shifting our weight and touching the floor. We're going to be going into half moon balance. So if you're here or here, just knowing that shift's coming up, engage your core, breathe in, and exhale, kick off that left foot once again to half moon balance. So today we're going to try a variation of our half moon balance bound and then coming into our King Dancer standing. So let's try bending our left and see if we can find that heel pulling into our glute. We might be here or we may be opening that hip back. So we're going to have to take a moment and breathe in. And then when we're ready, we're going to see if we can lift the right arm, come up into our King Dancer. Take your time. It's okay if we wobble our fat a little bit. We'll just come back. Arching that three, you're welcome to take both hands if you like. Find that grip, up and through the chest. Breathe in. And if you fall, it's okay. Come right back. Take a moment. Find your focus. Readjust. That's a tricky transition, so it's okay to fall a little bit. Find that foot behind you. Pull, hold it. Breathe in. And one more time. Find that focus. If you fall, it's okay. Just sometimes our different challenges as we move through the pulley, coming in a little different way will challenge us to engage our core a little differently. So once you're ready, find that focus, breathe in, and let's see if we can come out without falling away. And then just pull your left heel into your glute, stretching in front of that thigh. So just kind of think about squeezing those knees together, pushing that left thigh back a little bit. Breathe in. Exhale, release palms in front of the heart. Very good. That's a tricky transition. Great job here. Let's try the other side. So we're going to breathe in. Exhale. Big forward fold. We'll lift the gaze. Bend the knees. Hands to the mat. And we'll lunge back down or hop to plank. We're going to lower chatter on Breathe in. Exhale. Lift the chest. Over upward dog. Shift and back downward dog. Walk the feet out. Beautiful job here. Let's take left leg up nice and high. Breathe in. And then exhale, we'll lunge the left foot up to the hands, pivot the back heel. Warrior two, flip the left palm, reach up, and arch back. Feel that nice release through the side waist. Good. And then from here, coming up, we're either going to go into side angle, elbow to thigh arm by ear, or hands to floor. And this is just like we did on the other side, you're going to be kicking off of your back leg. So breathe in, exhale when you're ready, see if you're ready to kick off. So you should have your opposite leg this time, your right leg, and pushing off and finding that variation of our King Dancer. We're going to come up to in a moment. So this is our half moon balance, and then if we're binding, we're just going to push that foot into our hand, look at our left hand, and come up. Again, this is a little trickier transition, so take your time, come up, find that stability, great job. And then moving into your King Dancer at your own pace. So I fell out a few times on the other side. So now we're trying to see if we can hold our balance on this side without falling. And if we do, we're just coming right back. If we fall out, just come back when we need to. Breathe in. Exhale. Take your time. You can do it. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths in. Exhale. Let's come out slowly. And find a little milder stretch just for the front of that head. Breathe, touch your back, breathe out of the back. Very good. Excellent job here. One more breath in. When we're ready, let's release that foot. Take another big breath in. Exhale, refold over the legs. Lift the gaze, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat. Lunge, step, jump, or hop to plank. Lower chaturanga. Curl up, cobra, upper knee. And back into our downward dog. Walk the feet out. Let's raise the right leg. Breathe in. And exhale, sweep the right knee up to the hands. We're waking up our core a little bit. Breathe in, sweep the leg up. Exhale, knee up to the hands. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale, knee up to the hands. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale, knee up to the hands. We're going to hold and then release for pigeon. Let your 
Left leg extend behind you. We're going to lift the chest up and breathe in. Exhale. Before we come forward, let's take our right arm and reach back. Twisting here in our pigeon. Look back at that foot and breathe in. And then circle that hand forward. Let's take our left hand. Gaze back and see if it's possible. Maybe pull that foot in and continue stretching the front of that eye if that feels good for you. This is what we call our mermaid stretch. You can even lean into it a little bit and bind the hands. But you want to think about waking up the front of that hip as much as you can. One more breath in here and then when you're ready, exhale, release and just come forward into your pigeon. Take your time and relax.
lower lift and just release that lower back. So because this is just a short class today, we're going to finish seated with a little short seated meditation. If you want to lay down and take a shavasana in place of that, you're more than welcome. But otherwise, coming up seated, palms open, eyes closed. Let's just take a moment to think about something we're grateful for today. Set down your touches for the rest of your day you'd like to set. And let's inhale those palms together. Exhale the palms in front of the heart. And namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Let's take our knees to a big squeeze. And then just drop those knees a little side to side. And maybe even push those feet forward. Let the front of the thigh stretch. And you lift up the hips and pull back. And then we'll bring those hands forward. Rock it out a little bit. And pull it forward. Hug the leg. Let the head shake. No, let the head, let the head shake. Yes. Yeah. And we'll slowly roll up one last time. Take a big breath in. And breathe out. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And if you want more classes like this, you can um, subscribe to the channel. And we'll have new classes every week. And you can also come see me in person here at 1103 Cornish Street in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And we have classes all throughout the week in yoga, Pilates, dance. Love to see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.